Thermoregulation in Humans by kscience.com. In this video, I'm going to explain how the body maintains its body temperature by homeostasis. If the body's temperature is too low, we call that hypothermia. The body will then act to try to warm itself up, and the first thing it will do is the body will begin to shiver. Shivering is the process whereby our muscles will begin to contract and relax rapidly. The muscles contract and relax rapidly all over your body. This uses energy from respiration, and a byproduct of respiration is heat, and this heat is used to slightly warm the body. So remember, the muscles relax, contract, and relax very rapidly. This requires respiration, and a byproduct of respiration is heat, and this heat will act to warm you up ever so slightly. When we're cold, the hairs on our body will stand up. This is an example of the hairs lying flat. This is because the erector muscles under your skin connect your hairs. The erector muscles are relaxed. This means that the hairs lie flat on our body, and this happens when it's warm. However, when it's cold, the erector muscles contract. This causes the hairs on our skin to stand up. The hairs that stand up can now trap a thin layer of air directly above our skin, and this is for insulation. However, this has little effect in humans. When our body temperature is too low, our body undergoes a process called vasoconstriction. Directly beneath our skin, we've got a blood supply. So during vasoconstriction, blood vessels will constrict, they will get narrower. So if the blood vessels constrict, that means that less blood can get to the surface of our skin, and it isn't as close to our skin either. Because if the blood vessels are close to our skin, that means more heat can be transferred to the surroundings, which increases heat loss. However, during vasoconstriction, there is a reduced blood flow to the capillaries directly under the skin. This leads to less heat being lost to the surroundings from our blood. Less heat being lost to the surroundings. And when it's cold and we suffer from hypothermia, we do not sweat. We stop sweating. And this should lead to a rise in our core body temperature. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We've looked at what happens during hypothermia, but what happens during hyperthermia when the body temperature is too high? Well, firstly, our hairs lie flat. They do not stand upright. This is because the erector muscles relax, causing the hairs that were previously standing to then lie flat. So if the hairs lie flat, this no longer traps air to insulate mammals. So when it's too hot, we undergo sweating. Beneath the surface of the skin, we have sweat glands. Sweat glands produce and release sweat onto our skin. So when we get too hot, sweat is released onto the surface of our skin, which will then cover the skin. What then happens is heat from our body is then transferred into the sweat. Heat from our body is then transferred into the sweat. This causes the sweat to evaporate. So when the sweat evaporates, it transfers the heat from our body into the atmosphere surrounding us. This cools the body down. When we're too hot, we undergo vasodilation. So when our blood vessels are constricted, not much heat can be transferred to the surroundings. However, during vasodilation, the blood vessels dilate, which means that the blood vessels widen and the capillaries are brought to the surface of our skin. This increases the amount of heat that can be transferred to the surroundings from our body. So more heat is transferred to the surroundings around us. This is because there is an increased blood flow to the skin. So when there's an increased blood flow to the skin, that's going to increase the heat transfer into the sweat. So there's an increased heat transfer into the sweat, which will lead to an increased rate of evaporation of sweat. That will increase how quickly we can cool down. So it's really important that we sweat to cool down. So if there's an increased sweating, that could lead to an increased rate of evaporation. 
that will lead to our body cooling down more quickly. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.